All right, YouTube, back in the midget. Um, let's see here. Got quite a bit done since I last updated you guys. Um, start with, I've gutted more of the engine compartment out. You can see that's empty. This side's majority of the way empty. That's just hacked apart. I think I mentioned I need a water pump for this thing. So it pumps off. Um, if I haven't mentioned it, I need a water pump. <laughs> it leaks. I'm still not done anything with the tires. Um, I fixed the driver's side door. I have a video of me drilling out the bracket I was going to make for this thing. But the door opens now. Um, you can see what I did here. We got a little light. Um, maybe it's not good enough light. I'll grab a flashlight. Uh, it's a crappy, crappy camera, so I'm doing my best. You can see in there where the light's on. It's just a piece of angle iron I welded to the frame, or what was left of the bottom frame rail into the top there. I uh, hacked a hole through the rust on the back side here. Get a little weld back there. And then up front, I said, I'm doing enough body work on this car, so, you know, whatever, I'll just cut a hole in the side of the car and weld it in. So there that is. And you actually found out that this, where the light's on, that was all Bondo and barely any metal. So, yeah. This entire fender is like half Bondo. And I've been looking over the car more and more and more. And realizing that this car has been restored once before in its life. It's not like it was in a wreck and they fixed it. No, no. People Bondoed the floor and stuff and painted it real nice. So, it's been restored once it looks like. Because it was done right. This has two different layers of paint on it. It's got this color blue and it had a metallic flake blue on it as well. Then metallic flake blue is... The second one, I believe, because, well, no, I guess it'd be the first one. Just, it's weird the way it's peeling in places. You can see it shuts nicely and everything. I'll weld that up, patch this all up. Um, passenger side, I welded up the floor, floor frame. Uh, I got a piece of metal on it already. Driver's side's done. Uh, still got to do the sides and stuff, though. The, you know, along here to the frame that's not, that's open to the air yet. Um, yeah, I'm sand everywhere because I was sandblasting the frames and stuff when I was doing this. Um, <laughs> what else? I've got a plan for this car. I think when I'm doing this, I'm going to fix everything from the rear bumper to about here. And stop. You see, that's where your feet stop and all the puddle clusters at. That's where I'll stop. And my plan is, the reason I'm going to do that, I mean, sure, I'll paint it, but I'm not going to repair the rust or the front end or anything or any brakes or anything up front because what I'd like to do is hack it off right at that mark. You can kind of see right here. That's the mark where I'd like to hack it off. Oh, my gosh, the paint just peels right off the car when I do that. <laughs> right back to the bond of the ton there. Um, I'd like to hack it right there, and now it might be an issue. I have to see how much of this is metal. You can see how that sounds, and then you can see how this sounds. I don't know if you can hear it in the camera. That sounds way more metallic over there than this side. This looks like it's definitely got a lot of Bondo in her. So hopefully my plan that I want to do will work over here. I want to cut it, the entire front of the car off. Just saw the entire car right here. Um, remove the entire front half of the car. The tires, wheels, brakes, everything. And what I'll do, my plan is... To get the front end out of a old Chevy or a Ford, you know, I beam axle and do a rat rod with this thing. Or yeah, not rat rod, sorry, a hot um T bucket style. That's what it is. T bucket style. V8 motor up front transmission. Probably won't fit, so that's something I didn't think of. I'd have to hack the battery compartment out that I built. Hack the transmission tunnel out. Um be a lot of work hacking a lot of stuff up. Basically, all that truly be left is the outer body of the car. Um, I've been thinking about doing this yet, and I haven't brought it up yet to you guys. But because I when I reinforced the floor, I did it very specifically so I can weld a frame to bottom of this, like a truck frame. But you know, I custom built the frame. Um, but that's the plan. That won't be soon. I'll probably get the water pump. It's twenty dollars. I'll just drive it as is. And the thing is, I really don't want to buy tires for it, and then you know, rebuy tires again. So, I don't know what to do with that yet. But, you know, a V8 motor, a transmission, front end. We're talking, even with cheap stuff, 
still seven hundred dollars, which is a lot for me being a college student. There's no way I can pull it off, and then the amount of time and then the steel to build the frame. So, in reality, will it happen? Don't know. We'll see. Um, we had doors fixed, fashion size door, as I mentioned. Fuel tank. I took the filler neck off to look inside. It's got surf. It doesn't have any surface rust, but it has rust crumbs in the bottom from a fuel line rotting out. So fuel tank's still good. I guess you like about the level sensor because I like to reuse it because it's got an electric one. Um, what else? And that seat's a lawnmower seat, which actually might become pretty permanent. <laughs> Ironically, um, trunk works now. It was all rusted up. I got it open good. Um, I don't know if I've showed you guys the exhaust. It's a side pipe. Um, it was all I could do with it with how bad it was. And actually, I'll start it. It sounds really damn cool. So that's what that. I know I have a video of it, but I didn't really show you guys anything special about it. So that's it. Um, that chrome pipe isn't even on, stuck on there. As you can see, I just kind of slid it on there. Just see what it looks like. I don't like it. <laughs> I like wood burner exhaust, but I don't know if I like that big ass pipe on this little car. So, but yeah, that's where we're at. Um, it's gonna need steering column modifications because I can't get in this car. It's impossible. The steering wheel's too damn close to the floor because I raised the floor two inches. When I did all this, so yeah. Um, good news is the back of this car is in pretty dang good shape, so it's really just the center of this car that's bad. So yeah, um, be back with more later um, when I get her even more better. Remember, burn gas, go fast.